Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. And yes, we're going to close out this week with yet another winter storm. Crops and lakes will eventually freeze, halting production. Animals and ranches will die without a supply needed. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just order up some mass harvestings right away. That one's not even done up. Uh, they're harvesting already. Growing, 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 growing. Planting. You need to stop planting. Get that guy's a worker. Yep, there we go. Winter storm, no bad boo. Uh, this one, yep. Go ahead and do this and this and this. Wow, a bunch of soybeans available for processing there. We got 14 oil, looks like, out of that one before everything uh, happened up. So we get some more adults getting ready to help out the colony. And then I also want to do some trades. We've got plenty of, and plenty of, air quotes, parts and components. But I really want to get this one way the hell up there. So I'm going to go into the trade menu, see what I can send off. Because I see there's parts available here. There's electronics available at Chunkton. Let's see what we can uh, get our hands on. So I actually need the metal. We need the parts. And I'll trade them. Got a lot of basic tools. Got a lot of fish. A lot of concrete, tons of plastic. There's the pollution down there. I could easily send them also. Yeah, I'll send them some. I'll send them that. We'll get a little bit of coin coming out of that way too. All right, that's a little anvil taken care of. Now for Junkton. The electronics is what I'm after here. I'll trade them pollution. Uh, let's see, herbal medicine, wheat, I actually don't need a cra all this wheat. I really don't, because it's taking a long time to convert it all into flour, and what's my flour? It goes further down here. Um, I have 1300 flour, and I'm sitting on... Yeah, I guess I can send flour off. Flour's got a value of six, by the way. Yeah, send off... Let's say I've sent off 60 flour for this. I'm getting, getting coin back for the electronics that I'm sending off to them. I like it. And also, I'm sending a bunch of pollution, too. Uh, Dead Creek doesn't have much for me to go with, other than the parts, which is what I'm going after here. We'll do that. And Dead Creek likes... Guns. How many hunting rifles can I send them? I have 274 hunting rifles. How do I have that many guns? Well, it, it is New Texas, so I'll give them that. Um, 99 automatic rifles. I don't think I need to have that as a triple digit, but yeah. I don't like the idea of having these numbers all in the triple digits, if I can. And we'll send off like 200 fiber. Close to 200 fiber. We'll get a little bit of coin from that as well. Some parts, some coin. We'll send them some guns and fibers. And then lastly... Yeah, we have Rackham. Rackham's only got metal, guns, fuel, pigs, and a vehicle. I don't need it. I don't need the van. So I guess I'm not going to be trading with Rackham today. Well, at least in this video. So get all that stuff going. You have no work area, eh? How about this book area back here? And note I'm not having this lumber yard toward the back of the colony. I'm not having them work that big section up front because I actually have three lumber yards working this. And I want to make sure my two foresters are actually producing enough. We're producing logs at the logging camp, which is good. And... Trying to see if any of these buildings I have here can be upgraded any further. I got a sauna that can be upgraded to a steam sauna. Let's actually do that. I forgot this building had not been upgraded yet. Uh, these toilets have all been upgraded. That's been upgraded. That's been upgraded. It's just this thought of, oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Hunting cabin. It was for venison. I've actually been just been. I built this what? Episode 2, Episode 3, it's just been sitting there, chilling, doing its thing. Uh, 
industrial radiators going. We do still have a surplus of power somehow. Put that there. I'm just going to keep doing the sturdy clothing, by the way, because I don't think I need the basic clothing. I mean, if I could go even further and make protective clothing, all the better. But I do think that's actually something where you have to get that stuff in the field. Um, this building should be kept warm by the radiator. This, I'm okay if this general storage freezes. It, it just is. I'm not going to be doing any more upgrades on homes to heated two-story homes just because of the winter storm. I'll wait till the storm ends. And we'll go from that. Got two cycles until we get another person. Three, 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 three. I'm surprised that life support is just ripping along the way it is. I almost feel like I need to get ecosystem done. I need to get another ecosystem spot done up just to keep it going. Mess hall, school, steam sauna, that's been upgraded. Library. Okay, yep, we're good. It's a stockpile. Okay, head out here, I guess. I totally forgot there was stuff out that way. Not, yeah, I, I totally forgot. This, tis what it is. 11,000 food I'm sitting on right now. I remember. I'm trying to figure out how to get more. Um, where does real bang for my buck with my with my food? Because I've got 21 mixed meals, 100 veg meals, 56 meat meals. And those meals are coming from here. And also the two that I have up here. The one I have, excuse me, up here. Two I have up here. I tore down one last video for the public house. To make sure I can get my people as well fed as they can be to keep this as high as possible. The balance for happiness is already back in the negative. Super. Um, we can actually demo this guard post because this area is cleared out. That gives me more workers to work with. Okay, pause. I'm just going to pull all these people off. Whoops, did that not get... Okay, totally forgot that that building was there. Just pulling these people off because I know they, they're they working as... Wait, whoops, still harvesting that. Um, pop that guy off. That's irrigated fields. Don't want to upgrade those. Okay, so what is Aster? Harvesting almost done. Harvesting is done. Harvesting is done. It says I have 33 right now. Of course, I have much, much fewer than that carriers so if I wanted to actually build stuff I have the opportunity through which to do so there we go all right I got 43 workers so since I have 40 people working in my fields right now steam sauna is done that's nice and really it's a matter of what do I go with next um, I need to increase happiness further so let's go for the happiness stuff I could actually tuck the, the shrine in here. I'm gonna do that, actually. Just utilize the space that's available to me. And pop that in, just as a little more happiness down here for folks. The fun boxes I'm sitting on right now, I'm sitting on over 500 fun boxes, so I should probably be doing something with them. Uh, library, obviously very helpful, uses components, uses electronics. I'm not going to be going for the movie theater and the game arcade. It's more going to be heading for these things. Hmm. That was odd. Boosted burner. Yeah, I guess it does serve a purpose. Got a radiator here. School maintenance depot. Just trying to see what needs to be upgraded. This, bur this radiator is actually getting the ranches all done. So, yep. Keep this number as high as possible. You two chickens. So it says the winter storm is on us, but I mean, it doesn't feel like much is happening with this. I mean, 
is this what happens when the colony thrives? I don't know. Alright, my folks have returned. They had a vehicle with them, I believe. I can't remember. I should have actually checked them before they showed up. Okay, off-roaders done. Vehicle selection. It's more of just getting all the cars fixed up. We have bandits at the gate. A group of bandits have snuck up on the colony. Um, no. This is a problem for the nine... This is a problem for them, because there are... Oh, shit. Hang on. I don't have power out here. I did not get power out here. You guys will... You guys will keep. There we go. I'll tuck that in next. I totally forgot this thing needed power. Alright, uh, my folks are here. Ish. A group of bandits have appeared at the gate, seemingly out of thin air. You can read that if I want to. They can come get me. There's 18 bandits. If they manage to make it in, I've got nine. All nine of my specialists are in the colony. The sauna's, the shrine's done. Oh shit, they actually breached the gate. Yeah, here's all my colonists. They're dead. We won the battle. All right, uh, let's immediately repair this thing. I don't think any of my colonists took damage, mind you. Yeah, just gonna have things go. Wasn't too terribly concerned by that. I mean, granted, they did actually take down the fortress gate, but I do believe had I had my fourth um, person working the gate, it would have been fine. There we go. We got this stuff arriving now. Yeah, it says health is zero. So we'll just go ahead and speed this up. And let this get repaired. And with that, the gate is operational. Uh, had our pollution deposits back here cleared out, which is really good. That's a food storage. There we go. Yeah, some of our water pumps are frozen. We do have a we have a deficit of water right now. May need to go heat those guys up if the situation calls for it. Let's go look at my pollution. Yep, they have nothing to harvest. There's no pollution deposits back there, so we've got some way back here. There are survivors at the gate. The survivors at the gate, eh? I have space. They are at a good time too. A ragged bunch shuffles. Five beetle bread and wax worms. I'll take them. They're dead. Again, why do they think this is a good idea? It was probably the, the singular adult who did something stupid. Let's go to the world map real quick. We got a day before the next uh, person comes in. I still want to clear out a lot of this stuff. To pretty much got everything cleared out from this area, except for these basic tools and these iodine pills. There's also some medicine in this collapsed high-rise. What's critical for us? That's what I'm trying to think of right now. What do we need the most? Some protective clothing out in these devastated high-rises. This section also has a lot of survivors. If we wanted to have another group of survivors coming into the colony on a consistent basis, that's where I could go. Um, we got the Wolfgang way out here. That's cleared out. This is cleared out. This has some guns left over, some hunting rifles don't really need. We got some collapsed high-rises out here. It just, I'm almost at the point where do I, do I need to head into field? There's an abandoned station wagon I probably should go get and just bring it back. Iodine pills, but I'm creating iodine pills now. I'm making my own medicine. I think I'm almost at the point where I don't need to send people out to get stuff, except to do these things. I was actually expecting to have that revelation in this video. Hmm. Oh well. We got a radiator going. That's good. Even during a winter storm, we have plenty of power stored up. That's an important thing for me. 
got, let's see, plenty of oil, and plenty of fuel. We're both doing iodine pills with these guys, and I'm doing iodine with both of them because we are the, the lowest on that. Um, I think antibiotics will take care of infections, and I've got 82 of those, so to me it makes sense uh, to have these two doing that while this guy's just producing herbal medicine. Uh, this guy's already run out of water. This large water tower just seems to be useless because it really feels like it's useless. I'm going to put a second large water tower down here because this one always runs out of water first. Because also, look how much it's drawing into it. One, two, three, four, five structures. I hope this one in is going to be six. Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And this guy has its own purpose-built water tower. So building a second water tower, I think, is going to be the way to go here. And then maybe trying to figure out that mechanic of getting uh, think Steve think uh, trying to figure out the water mechanics in this game why water being stored here isn't being brought over here that's the one thing I'm still not able to figure out we got a uh, specialist available Enoch a scavenger since they're Their attack is the lowest that I have out of my group, other than Amara. Alright, so we're going to send her out for Ecosystem. It's actually Ecosystem Knowledge right here. There's also a bunch of survivors out there if I want to go that route. Eco, eco, eco. take five five cycles to get out here but this sector is uninhabited so i can go ahead and do something there there's defense up here and i'll be able to utilize that as well hooray all right we got 20 colonists who are infected with what me know not so water collect why do i have a water collector out here just by itself seems like it's still operational during a winter storm so i'm gonna give it that uh, okay, you cannot plant due to disaster. That's fine. No. Well, this is going. I've got three more spots that need to be addressed. I've got some concrete, some concrete, and some plastic that can be built up. So let's go ahead and build collectors on these guys. Didn't even see where the entrances were for it. I just slapped them down. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Back up here. I'm really not concerned about where the road is that goes into them. I'm just not. Actually, this one I kind of am. There we go. So if I do a road, it'll kind of go out like this. This one has an entrance this way, I think. Ah, shit, I already forgot. Something like this, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I can put maybe some storages in here too. This the colonist appears she has some sort, some kind of idea. One of the colonists, a meek woman no one has really paid attention to before, comes to view. Um, something about mushrooms and medicine. She can go. Science. This structure's also out of water. So this water tower, yeah. This has only this has four structures to it. Hmm. Try to figure that out some more. What are we doing on that? I'm gonna restart this structure. Oh, we need a transformer back here. Thought I had power. Never mind. There are too many people here. Only 325 people. That's not too bad, is it? 
mean, 325 people, that's... I don't know, what, an elementary school worth of kid of people? I'm surprised this structure ran out of water. There's a problem, because we don't have any water going to it. I also want to put a third person on each cookhouse. They only have a hand. There we go. I see snow's melting. That's a good thing. And also, the water production is now positive. Which means we have water going into these buildings. Maybe. I'm actually going to get this all queued up so as soon as the disaster ends, they can start working. I've made this mistake in the past where a disaster will happen, I pull people off of the fields. And then... When the disaster ends, I forget to put them all back on, I've got a bunch of fields just sitting there doing nothing with, the, with thumbs up the butts. That guy never pulled off. Whoops. And I think what I'll do, actually, with the large fields is I'll cut it back to two people once everything's planted, and the harvest can be done by two. It'll take a little bit longer, but things will still get done. Now we'll do this, this, this. So get me my materials. And, speaking of materials, let's get some spots to put my materials. Can't fit there. There we go. Bunch more storage is going to be put up. I know it says that, oh, there's nothing, there's no space for these things. There is space for these things. The game's just being funky. Because these three are actually not near capacity. So, it's fine. But we'll build all these up. We'll utilize materials that I have and kind of keep things going at a good clip. Yeah, you can see the snow is already melting. It's just, and also, it doesn't seem like the frost around the edge of my screen is nearly as deep, maybe that's the right word, as it was. I'm trying to think if I can get some uh, more wind power in here somewhere. There we go. Storm's over. Take cover. I better not see a meteor coming for this. Oh well. Uh, I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's saying like there's no free workers, but there are free workers. It's just not connecting correctly or something. I have to, like, go back and re-manually do these. Even though I did them, you know, before the storm ended, there's people available. Bit frustrating, if you ask me. Alright. Head back out of the world map, because I want to see... They've arrived on site. Bitchin'. Alright, 93% on environment. We'll get that going. It's mainly I just want to get this as high as I can, as quick as I can. I know the game has been dragging. I'm at, what, part 49 right now? As soon as I hit part, you know, as soon as I get everything maxed out, I'm going to wrap the series, and I'm going to find another game to play. I don't think I'm going to play End Zone because that's very similar to this game, and I think you can get into Death Spirals in that game super quick, so really not for doing that. But I do like this idea of maybe spreading out the colony this way. Bunch of stuff I can build out here, maybe more housing. But again, I don't need more housing. I only have 326 people. That's what I was going to do in the map, and I totally forgot about it. Over here, you. We'll take him. What I can do, might as well grab him. We got our insect farms. Let's actually go ahead. Old world knowledge. I'll do that after I get these two other insect farms built. Oh, they need power. Uh, okay, let's do that old uh, quest we were talking about. 
One of the colonists told that before finding this colony, she tried to navigate using the larger landmarks and waypoints. One of these was an old nuclear plant. Um, yes. So I'm going to want a scientist and a scavenger for this operation. You are neither. A scavenger and a scientist. Zari, Zari and Turbine are going. And I will also assign Lancaster and Roberts to go. I'll send Turbine in first. What's up? Ready. Found something. Let's see what we got. The old nuclear plant looms over the horizon, quiet and intimidating. A quick inspection reveals that one door is rusted enough to be pried open. Unfortunately, someone seems to have dwelled this place already as the hallway leads to an impenetrable blockade. There's a message on a nearby wall, radiation too dangerous, relocated to museum. There's a museum. Now the museum's like right there. How may I help? Please enter the museum. Can I? Turn you on the map, yeah. Found something. We already couldn't do a full jockey with it. The road leads to a small town with a museum at the center. The museum has certainly seen better days. The front is collapsing, gaining entry is no small feat. However, there's just enough an opening to allow a small individual to slip inside. A massive brontosaurus skeleton decorates the museum's lounge, a reminder of yet another bygone era. Behind it, the wall is covered in notes, kind of personal notes on how to survive in a world like this. Whoever left the message that the plant is no longer here, but this could this knowledge could prove useful nonetheless. Uh, take the notes and look around, because I don't need the science. I found some science. After picking the notes, and the place still appears peaceful, it's worth taking another look around. There aren't really any valuables left, but a resourceful eye will always find something. Some clothes, and one expedition, and some untouched, untouched electronics are found. So 12 clothing, 30 components. Done. Can't complete order. What's up? Not going to happen. I'll keep them in field for a little while, then maybe we'll send them out. Uh, that wind turbine did get a little explodium. I think there was a lightning strike, because this guy, I, th I thought I saw something going on with it. Alright, another lightning tower would be really helpful. Lightning towers do require electronics, but thankfully I'm actually building some at once. Put it right there. They'll protect this as well as these new guys. Uh, lightning tower there's good. Lightning tower protecting all this. This electronics factory in this battery rack are not protected by lightning towers. You want to gamble on that? Maybe putting a lightning tower over here. I can build some more infrastructure out this way. I do like that idea, don't get me wrong. We're only running out of surplus of 144 power. You're getting decontaminated as a huge. You are going to get dismantled, and they'll let the Jesus person just walk along the water like they usually do. Swap this out for a water pump. Oops, wrong button. I would like to go back into my colony, please, and fix this damn thing. I hit trade instead of R. Uh, yeah. I'll take 40 water instead of 14. Back to the colony view. Since I'm out here, I might as well see what we can get my hands on. Um, this is only protecting science, medicine, clothing, medicine, fun boxes, antibiotics. This guy's protecting fuel, I believe. Yeah. Just head back. There's nothing. There's nothing for him out there. So we get some clothing. We get some electronic components. And we're okay. That that's really all we can do. I do have the, I have the option to build some more greenhouses out this way. We're producing herbs predominantly in them for the medicine aspect of it. Go down. There we go. I'm gonna move over, move it over that way a little bit. This guy is chock a block full of fiber, which is fine by me. The building's idle. Good for it. Huh. Yep, right now I'm really just waiting on this stuff to max out. Let's 
bit unfortunate because I really wanted the series to be like, oh, there's always something to do. And now we're in this late game of the colony's thriving. We're getting disasters every once in a while. But the true threats are kind of done. Uh, this scout tower is completely useless out here, by the way. It's just been sitting there for a while. I mean, there's some metal scrap out here. There's more pollution out here. There's an opportunity for more ruins to be built. You know, some more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, just, uh... It seems like a kind of an end road, and an end game spot for it. Without actually reaching the end of the game. It's a matter of just this getting finished. So I guess as we go into the first full week of November. Oh yeah. yeah, first full week of November. I gotta figure out what this series is gonna be. Um, just kind of finish up. Just explore the map more. Maybe convert one of my weaker people into an engineer. And then uh, just wait until the game's done. A little disappointing. But this is... It, the mechanic definitely reminds me of Surviving Mars in the late game. In that there's... Once you hit the late game of Surviving Mars, there really isn't much to do. Your colony's thriving. You're making enough materials to survive on the daily. You've completed your mysteries. This one I haven't, obviously. But it just seems a little medicine outpost. Hey... I have something for that. The colony is received. I'm just going to jump to it. Can find in the cramped spaces. Increased colony healing speed by 5%. I'm just going to rip through it because, again, I'm at that point. I don't like saying I'm at that point, but I'm there. Next week, I think I'll be aiming, I'll be angling to finish this series up. Ooh. She's actually a decent fighter. Um, attack is 25, scavenge 150. Yeah, get in here, please. I'm just curious here. So, 25 damage, 150 scavenge. 25 damage, 100 scavenge. Bonnie's actually the weaker of the two, and I've had Bonnie since, like, day one. I don't need research anymore. So, I think it's actually going to be Bonnie and Amara that are going to be heading out. Scavenge is at 200. Turbine. I don't need Turbine anymore either. He's got his attack. But I do want to have one scientist. And that's what's keeping him around is his 20 damage compared to Amara's 9. So, Bonnie and Amara. They're heading out. Both of them. Once this is built up, they're gone. And I'm going to end the video with that happening. With sending, call, with sending engineers who have been here for a very very long time sending them into the world I have an outpost there already um, I want defense do I have any closer for defense nope I got defense down here that's three cycles out I'm a little shocked that I'm going to be sending Bonnie out uh -huh. um, I really thought she's going to be sticking around but her scavenge when compared to Where is... Why is gunfire? Yep. I heard gunfire. Farewell, Bonnie. That, that, one kind of, that one kind of hurts a little bit. Because she's been there for a long, long time. It's going to take four cycles to get there. So next video... Um, we're going to be dealing with a nice stretch if you haven't done so already. Oh, that felt good. Actually building more housing because we're at four extra spaces of 340. So this neighborhood's being built. Going out that way, I think. We'll go ahead and continue building out this neighborhood. And we're going to really just put the pedal down and try to get ourselves to the end point, because I can see the end of the game in sight. It's coming. But I also got to figure out what's going to be next once that end is done. 
And I think this is a good stopping point, because I've probably gone over the 30 minute mark by now. For now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.